What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Toei Toy Talk with Outer Space Reviews, the show where we talk about Toei's toys from Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. Now we need to get started because so much was announced by Gav and a lot was released by Premium Bandai, so we need to jump into it right now. So let's get started with what was released this week. From Boom Boonja, it was the Boom Boonja tire pillow that comes with the Boom Boom Legend bus for Dom Brothers. This went out for delivery on Friday the 19th. From Kamen Rider Gotchard, it was the second wave of the Dread Driver. This went out on the 16th of July. Also released on the 16th was the Super Best DX Great Cross Dragon. And finally, also on the 16th, was the Super Best DX Evolt Driver Kamen Rider Evolve Phase 1 to 4 set. These items will be in your warehouse if you order them from a Japanese middleman. You should be getting an email about receiving them soon. On the 18th of July, from the SH Figure Arts line, Kamen Rider Legend was released. Along with him, also from SH Figure Arts, from Kamen Rider Geats, was the Boost Striker. And finally, from SH Figure Arts Shinkocho Seho line, from Kamen Rider Fi's 20th anniversary movie, was Kamen Rider Next Fi's. If you ordered these items from a Japanese middleman, you should be receiving an email very soon. Now moving on to items that will be released on Saturday the 20th. We have some Boom Boonja items that are going to be released. From the Boom Boom Car Series, we have the DX Boom Boom Leo Rescue. It's going to be 5,280 and it's going to be a regular release item. Along with that will be the DX Zun Zun Shulker Blaster. This item is retailing for 4,620, but it's also being released in a special set with the Boom Boom Changer. It'll be the Boom Boonja Boon Red 119 Bakuage Power Up Set. This set is 7,920 and it too will be released on the 20th of July. And the final item released on the 20th of July from Kamen Rider Gotchard under the Ride Kemi Trading Cards is Phase EX2. It's a 76 card set. Each pack will be 440 yen and there'll be 10 to a box. Now we're moving on to items that will be released next week. On the 24th of July, the DX Plosion Rage Buckle along with the DVD or Blu-ray will be released. The DVD is going for 14,850 and the Blu-ray edition will be 15,950. And this item will also be getting a regular release. Now, also on the 24th of July, from Kamen Rider O's and the Complete Selection line is the Complete Selection Modification Call Metal Kazari set. It retails for 2,750, but also we'll see the release on the same day as the Call Metal Gamel set also retailing for 2750 And finally, the Complete Selection Modification Core Metal Mezul set will also be released that very same day at 2750 Now, on the 25th of July, all these tapestries, except for these top three ones here, will all be released. All except the Kamen Rider Black and Black RX line are 3,300 yen each, while the Kamen Rider Black and Black RX line are 3,520 each. So if you ordered these, get ready for a big wave of tapestries. And finally, on the 26th of July, the DX Punching Gummy, Gochizo, and Ride Kemi Trading Card Double Rider Kick version set will be released. This item is retailing for 880 yen, and it comes with one Gochizo and one Ride Kemi card. This will be a regular store release. Now, we're moving on to items that were announced for pre-order this week. From Osama Sentai King Oja, we now have the Kumono Slayer, Memorial Edition. It's retailing for 16,500 yen, comes with the Kumono Slayer and the Change Kumonos Key. It came up for pre-order on the 15th of July and pre-orders will end on September 12th and it will be delivered in February. On the 16th of July, pre-orders started for the Complete Selection Modification Joker Rouser Part Set. This is an additional Rouser set for those that are purchasing the Callus Rouser. It's retailing for 7,150 yen. Pre-orders started on the 16th of July and pre-orders will end on September 30th and it will be delivered in February. Now, in the early mornings of July 19th, the Kamen Rider page updated with a whole bunch of new items that will be released in the upcoming Kamen Rider Gav series. Now, what was announced? First item announced was the DX Henshin Belt Gav and Gochizo Holder Set. This item will be retailing for 10,340 yen and its release date is on the 31st of August. Pre-orders for this item will begin on the 26th of July. Now, you can also get the Gochizo Holder by itself and it comes with the Vroken Gochizo. It's going to retail for 2,420 and it too will be released on August 31st. The next item that was announced was the DX Mason Gochizo and Bubble Ramune Gochizo. This is a holder for up to 10 Gochizos, but you have to build it yourself. It's going to retail for 2,750 and also will be released on August 31st. The next item announced was the DX Gav Gablade and Gochizo Speeder. This item comes included with the Kicking Gummy Gochizo. It's going to retail for 
6,050 yen and will also be released on August 31st. They will be releasing all the Gochizos as a set or separately. First up is the DX Rider Gochizo set number one. This set will come included with the Zaku Zaku Chip, Fuwa Malo, and the Gochard Gochizo. It's going to be 1,980 yen and released on August 31st. Next is the DX Zaku Zaku Chip Slasher. It comes included with the Zaku Zaku Chips Gochizo and is going to retail for 3,850 also released on August 31st. The next Gochizo set is the DX Rider Gochizo set number two. Gonna come included with Gurukan, Maru Malo, and Kamen Rider Geats Gochizos. This set will be 1,980 yen, and its release is going to be the 21st of September. Now, the next item is the DX Rider Gochizo series number one. This is a set of four different Gochizos in blind bags. You can get one of either two versions of a Gochizo. So you can get the normal version or an alternative face. The lineup includes Popping Gumi and its alternative, Fuwa Mello and its alternative, Zaku Zaku Chip and its alternative, and Hiti Hiti and its alternative. Each blind bag will be 660 yen, released on September 21st. And as a recording, they haven't announced what the ratio for the regular to alternative Gochizos will be. So we don't know how many packets we have to buy to potentially get the alternative Gochizo. The next item is the DX Choco Don Dan Gun. This item comes included with the Choco Dan Gochizo and is going to retail for 3,850 and released on October 5th. And finally, on the Gochizo series, it's the DX Rider Gochizo series number two. This series will include Popping Gumi and its alternative, Gudu Khan and its alternative, Maru Malo and its alternative, and Choco Dan and its alternative. This will be 660 yen each. And as before, we do not know what the ratio to regular to alternatives will be. And that's everything that was announced this week and coming out next week. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I know there was a lot that was announced and coming out, but we managed to get through it. Just remember, if you want to join the discussion of Toei Toy Talk, we are live Tuesday nights, Australian Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash outer space reviews and here on YouTube. So join the discussion and we're gonna talk about so much about all these new GAV releases and what's coming up in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please remember to like and subscribe because it really helps us out and lets us know that you are enjoying what we're doing. Like if you've learned a lot today and subscribe if you want to be up to date with all this information. I know it's a lot. But other than that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode or on the live stream. Catch you for now.